Now let's look at this question. So this question now is talking talking about bottles of wine that are packed for distribution in two different ways, as shown on the diagram. Package A is packed in two rows with three bottles and package B has six bottles next to each other. Right, then they tell us the diameter of the bottle is eight centimeters and they tell us that the bottle, the height is 22 centimeters long, as you can see here. OK. Giving us the package A, which is quite simple. We really don't have to imagine that. At least we can just go straight ahead and work it out. Now, let's see. What is the question? The question says calculate the rectangular box. The dimensions of the rectangular box for package A. So. Now we have to think. How are they? Packaged one, two, three. Right, so there we go. They packaged like that. So the reason why I say eight centimeters times three centimeters, why? Because remember, we're given the diameter. So the diameter was eight centimeters. So meaning that this would be eight centimeters, eight centimeters, and eight centimeters. That's the space that they actually are gonna take. As I said, guys, we have not been told about the material. For example, the box here, can you see that it's divided? If we, they would have to, if they could tell us the thickness of that cardboard, then we would have to add it, okay? So we just um, working, I mean, with the information that we are given. So we get the answer. 8 centimeters times 2 centimeters, we get 16 centimeters. Right. The reason also we are saying times by 2 here, uh, you've guessed it. Here, there's only 2 bottles, so it's just 8 times 2. But here, there was 3 bottles. Very also, that's uh, another thing that's very important is if we were, if they were to talk about the, the thickness of let me change, try and change color. The thickness maybe of this part. It would have been a different case because it means that we would have to now add in this case. They're just asking us very simple things and hence we're just saying eight centimeters times by two, we get 16. Right now. Let's look at the height, the height. They did tell us the height. Obviously, it's just one layer, guys. So we are not going to be multiplying times by two and so on. It is just honestly 22 centimeters times by one. The answer is, of course, 22. So now remember, they said calculate the dimension. So you have to say 24 centimeters by 16 by 24. Right. Calculate the dimensions of the rectangular box labeled B. Now, here in this box, they just said it's six. Remember, they said, uh, spoke about six bottles when we started that we're trying to pack six bottles. So here, this is just one row. The bottles are like this. Six of them like this. So it's quite simple. What is going to be the length? You've guessed it right. It's the longest part here. And we know the, di the diameter of the bottle is just eight centimeters. So you're just going to say eight times by the six bottles. You get your answer as 48 centimeters. Right now, the width. The width, you have to then say eight centimeters times by one. And why times by one? Because we're just packing them. Um, in a row. So this part here, if you can see, is just one eight centimeters. That's the diameter. Okay, and that's the answer. So we have eight centimeters. Then we have the height. Height 
it's just one layer, so we're just going to have that, which is eight centimeters. Sorry about this. So the answer is 22 centimeters. And that's it for these bottles. OK, the dimensions now, let's not forget. So it's 48 for the length, eight for the width and 22 for the height. Guys, you don't just put them any how you want. As I said, it must be length times breadth times height. Now, they say calculate the surface area of package A. They are telling us package A is 24 by 16 by 22. And remember that this is length and this is the breadth and this is the height. Now, what is the equation of, a surf of surface area? You are definitely going to be given that. You just need to substitute what you have. As you can see, my length, there is my length here, substituted accordingly. Breadth, there's the breadth, substituted accordingly. And then the height, I have the height here, substituted also accordingly. So we find. We substitute is don't just jump straight to the answer. I think showing your calculations also can get you four marks. Now let's look at the cost. It says now the cost to produce if the cardboard costs zero comma zero zero seven five per centimeter squared. Now I'm honestly assuming here that they're just talking about the the cardboard that is basically the outside. Um, we can see this cardboard inside, but they haven't said anything about that. And if only they, they were to say something, then obviously we'd then have to add it to the surface area and then calculate it. In this case, they said nothing. So we're just gonna work with what we have. Guys, when it comes to this, it says per centimeter squared. And we have 2,528 centimeters squared. So basically, we're just going to say, OK, multiply it by that. So you get your answer as 18,98, which is actually quite cheap.